Hey everybody, we're going to do a reverse dip using this. It's a doggy ball I got from Walmart in the doggy section and I cut it in half. It's got little spikes on it. We're going to use this. Be sure and paint your canvas black first. It doesn't have to be solid, but just get a base coat on there. When you pull your napkin up, the white can show through on your painting sometimes and that does not look good. You'll have to go back and retouch. It's just a lot of extra work. Okay, my paint is Saks. 1% acrylic, 2% flow chaw, and 30% water. I just put a light coat on. When you paint it first and let it dry, you don't have to use tacks because you don't have to worry about your sides. Okay. I do a puddle in the middle. Not too big. You don't want your paint to run over. Here we go. Put your whatever you're using in the middle. Push down to get some of the air out. Get your air bubbles out. My paint is one part flow chaw, one part acrylic, and 20% water. For my colors, I'm going to be using orange, pink, white, and purple. For my white, it'll be a iridescent. I don't want quite that much there, so I'm going to soak up some of that. I am going to thin my iridescent just a little bit. You want to use something with a, a sort of a thick point. I use a dry paper towel. I don't like the wet as much as I do the dry. Gently press it down. I do it in a circular motion to bring all that to the middle. When you pull your napkin up, all your paint goes to the middle, and it's really thick right there. That makes your middle look prettier and draws your colors in. Okay, I use a bent straw. It lets me have more control over my blow. Get some more paint out of the center. Okay. Very pretty. 